Simon Epa. Why is it that Tinubu's government is yet to invite the ambassador of Finland to chat? Trux Ohuebe. The director of publication of the pilot newspaper, Trux Ohuebe, has questioned why the present government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is yet to invite the ambassador of Finland for a discussion concerning Simon Epa, who reportedly resides in Finland and is the self-proclaimed factional leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a group accused of being responsible for implementing lockdowns in various areas of the southeast region of Nigeria. Speaking on the AIT News Network, Trux Ohuebe said, Now, some fellow Simon Epa, who is residing outside this country, is levying war on this country. And one begins to ask if we are a sovereign nation. And the ambassador of Finland is resident in Nigeria. And someone who is a Nigerian who is in Finland is levying war on Nigeria. Why is it that Tinubu's government, the government of today, is yet to invite the ambassador of Finland to chat? If he does not give reasonable answers, he should be asked to leave our country until that fellow who is there comes to his senses. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as I check out what other people have to say about this. Don't mention Tinubu. Ibos are enjoying everything, even sit at home and flocking school children and killing themselves by themselves. I don't understand why so-called leaders think Simon Epa is the problem. Many Igbo populations, about 90%, are angry with the way Igbos are being treated in Nigeria and the behavior of Fulanese in Nigeria and are angry with Igbo politicians and few elders who have been benefiting from the cry of the majority. These are the problems, not MNK or Simon Epa. If you remove them today, there will still be another Nambi Kano and Simon Epa. It will never end. As this group are fighting and dying, the wicked Igbo politicians are trying to use it to negotiate positions in Nigeria. The only solution is to go after the root cause. Are you guys Nigerians enemies of themselves? The Igbos do not pity them. Let that evil befall on them. Because this government has soiled their hands before, now with Simon Epa. My candid advice to our Igbo brothers is that they should all confer a meeting of the Southeast governors, past and present, leaders, the Igwes, I mean traditional rulers, and even all the youths for a common dialogue that usher in peace to the land. They should condemn what needs to be condemned, abhor evil and unrest and public disturbance, and then prefer solutions to their collective problems. You may bully me, but think of my advice. Follow it up and see you will see positive results. Seek for peace first from your abode and not from outside. Stupidity, stupidity of the highest level with absolute zero intelligence. Please, Mr. President Bola Tinubu, not invite this nonsense to Nigeria. We do not want a person like him for this country because he does not know anything about Nigeria. Because... Don't know, kill your family or your friends or your mother. You grow in Finland. Finland is not in Nigeria. Nigeria 
day number five, a part of politi- population in this world. What is Nigeria? Otherwise, it will be worse than this. Repent from bringing in fake drugs, spare parts, tires, etc. Many souls have died. God is not happy. This matter is not in the hands of Tinubu, but in the hands of Almighty God. Evil should cry unto God for repentance and ask for mercy of God. Credible research has shown that more people are killed in the southwest, south-south, and other regions than southeast as a result of insecurity. So mind how you vilify other regions, leaving the insecurity in your domain. Tinubu is too weak and lacks courage and boldness to question Finland through her ambassador in respect to Simon Epa's misconduct and incitements is because Simon Idiotic Epa is a Tinubu foreign thug terrorizing the southeast. Without releasing Nandikanu, all other ways is nonsense. You all know the truth. Nigeria is a country that never obeys the rule of law. The, con- the Court of Competent Jurisdiction has ordered the release of Mazi Namdekanu, but Nigeria governments disobey court order. He is doing all these things because he knows that Nigeria president is serious about Nigeria. If not, how I person will be in other country and be giving other but the father said he does not know the son. Why? If you kill a snake without the removal of his head, the problems will still be there. When they call Nigeria Zoo, it sounds somehow. What triggered seats at home never discuss and you are inviting Finland ambassador. Chai, foolish Galentians. Who bewitched you? Release Namdi Kanu tomorrow. When you hear Simon Epa talk about sit at home again, we will all go against him. It is affecting all of us in the southeast. Please, Simon Epa is never the problem of Ibo. Release Namdi Kanu unconditionally right now. Well, what are your opinions on this? These people have all given their opinions on this, so make sure to leave yours in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and to share this video with your family and friends.